Hello everyone and welcome to a Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd Editions. My strategies and tactics if I get this out of the way. Because this is for the Necromancer. Uh, the Necromancer is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I, I will say what needs to be said in the way but First, let's start out with what the uh, Necromancer gets. Gets the uh, Reaper's Scythe, which is a magic staff. And each time you defeat a monster with this weapon, recover one heart. Which is not all that likely to happen at all. But I have seen stranger things. Alright, you get raised dead. So, as an action, you place your reanimate familiar token in a space adjacent to you. You may only control one reanimate at a time, of course. Uh, you may discard your reanimate token at any time. And it does take one whole stamina. Let's find out what the uh, reanimate does. So, it has a movement of three, health of four. And uh, this familiar is treated as a figure, but cannot recover any amount of uh, hearts, any health at all. Uh, and it may perform one attack action during its activation. Uh, it also gets, uh, if you roll a surge, it will deal an extra damage with a blue and red. Um, you know, it's it's... Something it doesn't have any uh, defense. Something to get in the way. There it is. Just there. And that's what you start with. Right, what can you actually spend with your experience points though? What you're going to be trying to find. How about the Corpse Blast? So it costs you one experience point. Uh, so it's an action one. So perform an attack targeting your reanimate space with a magic weapon. So you've got to have like a magic weapon equipped and you've got to target your reanimate. Uh, and this attack gains blast. And you do not need a range or line of sight to the space. Uh, after the attack is resolved, the uh, reanimate is defeated. So, okay, you do not need a, a uh, you don't, you do not need the range or line of sight at all. You just make an attack, uh, uh, and it, and it, you just it and goes boom. And it's only cost one, one stamina uh, uh, as well. Uh, I think it's actually really, really good. You just literally summon skeleton, walk towards uh, your closest enemies, and then just well, when it comes back to it, you can blast them. Well, of course, that's, that's not how it works because you can't take your go, uh, not finish your go, activate your skeleton continue on with your go. No, you can't do that. Uh, right. You've got the Fury of Undeath. Uh, it's an action one, so exhaust the card to activate your reanimate. And your reanimate still activates this turn as normal. And it only takes one stamina. So you get to use your reanimate twice, really. Uh, you can't really go wrong with that. That's that's a, a move, an attack, an attack, and move, and all that. Very, very good. Uh, hold on, there's another one, because I've got to come back to this one. It's called Deathly Haste. Uh, each time you suffer a stamina you gain, to gain a movement point, you may then move your reanimate one space. 
and it doesn't require anything there it just requires you to uh, do something um, so you can actually get in a lot more closer if you use that this one first the deathly haze uh, before you reanimate to get closer to the enemies uh, then you could uh, activate by doing it this and then after when you had your go activate your familiar again so therefore you're bound to get two attacks with your familiar uh, now on a downside to this is do you really want to be spending stamina to move with your mage um, most of the time it's no you, you don't need to there's, there's nothing to do with your mage apart from move and attack or, or make two attacks or even use up your stamina as well I, I, I don't quite like this one at all yeah sure it's a combo right there to get your come on that's it uh, to get your uh, reanimate into better positions to do an attack uh, and then attack again and all that but uh, most of the time it's not all that necessary especially when you have the corpse blast where you could uh, you know you can act Activate your reanimate first before you take a go. Right, what about the more powerful stuff? How about the ones that take two experience points? Dark Pact. Okay, your reanimate adds uh, additional brown dice to its defense pool. So there you go, it's got some defense now. Not all that great defense, but still. Uh, each time you suffer. Uh, damage you may choose to have your reanimate suffer all the uh, damage instead each time your reanimate suffers uh, damage you can choose to suffer all of the uh, damage instead uh, you're probably going to be using this part a lot more it's like why should you get damage when you can just put it on your reanimate you can, you can always reanimate it again you know raise the dead and all that uh, whilst this one is like if your reanimate is almost about to die but you have a heal on your party you can always decide to take the damage uh, and eventually deal with your fiendish sick plans with your skeleton as in use the corpse blast you know, boom it uh, that's, that's a definitely a good one to have. Another one is Vampiric Blood and your reanimates adds an additional yellow power dice to its attack pool. And each time you or your reanimate defeats a monster you recover stamina. Um, yes please I would like to have uh, my reanimate to have a, a yellow power dice a and of course your a re reanimate doesn't have to be even near you to uh, recover the stamina but it's also yourself and your reanim reanimate that if it kills a monster uh, definitely definitely uh, a good one right there because uh, it goes well with corpse blast you know blast it get stamina back Uh, Undead Might, which uh, your reanimate gets plus two health, even when cast is exhausted. So now your reanimate has six health, almost as much as a uh, Shadow Dragon. Right, so exhaust a card, and your reanimate attacks a monster, and it gets uh, additional damage to it, and it takes one stamina. Uh, it's not so bad if you're going to kill it and you hope to kill it because uh, it's good when it comes down to vampiric blood, you know. Defeats a monster, recover a stamina. 
little combos there, by the way. Now for the more expensive stuff. Okay, you got die in command. So when you or your uh, reanimate defeats a monster, exhaust this card. Okay, uh, you test your knowledge. If you fail, you recover a stamina. It takes two, so you could just get uh, lose one just for no reason. Okay, but if you pass, return that monster to the map. Then move the monster to its speed, and perform an attack with it. Then remove the monster from the map. Ah, uh, yes, please. Dying command. Yes, 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 yes. All the way through. Uh, j j just no matter what. Especially if you have a, a high knowledge. Uh, another one is Army of Death. Now it's. Uh, it's an action, so perform an attack with your reanimate. Uh, this attack affects each monster in your line of sight, ignoring range. Uh, your animate does not need line of sight to the affected monsters, but does need to be on the map. Uh, now, this, this, you actually do need. Vampiric blood, at least, because it gives you a yellow dice. But at the same time, it's uh, it says this attack affects each monster in your line of sight. Uh, yeah. So if you have like four heroes, uh, they're probably going to get in the way of each other, so you might not be able to see a lot. If you have two heroes, then there might not be enough monsters on the board. Uh, uh, it, it's it's a tough one. Um, considering that you you it's like you have no other choice but to have vampiric blood to give you that yellow dice. Uh, I, I, I mean, it might not really be all that worth it at all. Perhaps it's best left at home, <coughs> but it all depends on what you have in your party. Right, so what are you going to be looking for in the case of the shop one, uh, shop one, no, act one shop card? You're going to look for some elven boots to give you a movement point, keep you moving around. How about the ring of power? Plus one stamina. Can't go wrong with more stamina with a mage. A lucky charm, re roll your attribute test. It's self explanatory. Mana Weave. Uh, so after rolling the attack, exhaust us to gain a surge. Helpful when you're trying to kill creatures, you know. Like the. Um, um, I'm doing it again. Die in command, you know. When yeah, you defeat. Monster. Anyway. Scorpion Helm, plus one range. Beast Vest, give uh, a better stats increase to your might and um, awareness, plus uh, brown defense dice. Rune Plate, it's heavy armor. And uh, if your knowledge is four or higher, you have plus two health as well. If you have a rune equip, you place this card's grey defense with a black defense. Uh, <laughs> wow, you're more than likely going to have runes, aren't you? Yeah, exactly as I thought. Find that. I uh, have a heavy cloak, and you exhaust the. Uh, card to cancel a surge that's targeting you try and stay alive a little bit more longer uh, liver armor plus one health uh, and brown defense dice you know just in case it's not all that necessary but still uh, magma blast a magic rune good damage there blast and burn blast is uh, 
good because it gives you a better chance of killing at least a creature. <coughs> you know, like the dying command, you know, can all of that. Uh, emulation, PS1, little damage input there, uh, additional range, nice damage there. Can't go wrong. Uh, sunburst, it's uh, not all that great, but it gives you stun. Uh, well, it at least helps uh, you for your reanimate. Uh, anyway, I have magic staff, which um, use surge to deal a damage to another monster within three spaces of that target. Especially if your reanimate is near something else that's near that target, you're going to damage that. So, yeah. And then you have the teleportation rune. Which is a rune, nice. Uh, range and damage. Uh, another one is uh, after resolving this attack, you may choose an empty space within two spaces of you and place your figure in the chosen space. Uh, so you attack and back off and then perhaps summon your reanimate for that that's all I can think of in act one what about in act two for your shop you look for the uh, shroud of dusk give all your attributes plus one now, so you can uh, always pass those important attribute tests the iron bound ring plus two health. If you roll any blanks on your armor save you get an armor bonus. Black iron helm plus two health keeping you alive and gives you an additional shield bonus. Armor bonus. Whatever bonus. <laughs> you have the uh, inscribed robes Exhaust this card after rolling defense dice to replace the result with a number of uh, defense equal to your knowledge. Uh, yes. Which would tend to be about, like, what, four, five, or even six? M more than likely five or six. Anyway, uh, Demon Hide Lever. Uh, if you perform two move actions, which you shouldn't really be. Like raising the dead, or attacking, or using a skill of some kind, because uh, you suffer a stamina if you make two move actions. Still a uh, grey dice. The obsidian scam uh, you can't be cursed. Each time you are attacked and suffer no damage, you do recover two stamina, giving you a black dice. However, you can only perform one. Uh, of the skill or abilities per turn which is the fury of undeath corpse blast army of death and raise dead just just those four you're probably not going to really be using like two of them per turn anyway I uh, have the staff of the wild that should do a curse, disease, poison or stun, or a nice bit of range there, uh, and uh, this one a little bit more helpful. Uh, do one damage and recover a stamina. Nice. Uh, the Rune of Misery, curse, uh, have range and a little damage, but more importantly. Major damage plus four. Look out for that one. The staff of Kelos. Nice bit of range there. Nice bit of damage there. And burn your target as well. Uh, oh, what can I say about that? Especially if you have blast. Corpse blast that is. Don't forget about that. Right, the lightning, the lightning strike, blast, 
okay you've got a corpse blast anyway but just in case you've got another blast somewhere else uh, damage damage yeah anyway next <laughs> the dwarf and fire bomb blast stun slow them down or at least only make them do one action and last but not least the ice storm immobilize it's always fun to be a mage and you're immobilizing it's like you can't touch me and then your skeleton comes in to finish the job or taunts uh, a nearby uh, monster anyway that's all I have I don't really have anything else uh, that's it Bye.